day here. We got a uh, Brickley Jensen outdoor gas patio heater. And what we're going to do here, and by the way, I have my Mora 546 here. I'm going to open this up, and our goal is to get this unboxed, put together, and running. Instructions here. Instructions are right up on top. Got a nice, very nice booklet. Stand right here. Throw that over there. This. Yeah, it comes. This is very important. It comes with uh, all the tools and hardware that you need there. Little brackets and things like that. So that's that's pretty cool. And that's in the instructions too. With this, uh, this, this is you said, Ben. This is the heat shield. So I'm just going to take this off and come back to it after. The most time-consuming part of this so far. This is the heating assembly right here. The wheels right, right. there. So step one: wheels to the base. Those will go. I didn't Here. time how long it is. Let's go through this. It's come for the wheel base in step one. All the screws are in that bag to set it up like this. One here. One here. That goes in this way. And the washer. And not okay, the base assembly. Then I the support brackets. Just hand tighten first. So the other holes up on top. Holes on the bottom. This goes in here. Philip said we will tighten these into place. Good? Yep. Thing nuts. Okay, so one more. Right here. Oh that that's for here. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So it's much more sturdy now. Well yeah. we gotta tighten everything. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to tighten. tighten. Yeah, but it's it's now it's really coming into shape here. Alright. Using the wrench, I'm taking these four out from here. Up those in there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, here. Okay. Then those bolts we just removed yeah, they can go back this. in here. Positioned so that the heating operations are right below it. Look here, Connor's got a good shot of it. So that goes there. Nine flatware washers, small screws, and nut caps. One thing to note is that you don't just screw them on one at a time. You have to put some of the edges share a hole. So don't just screw one piece on. You have to screw them together. A little ridge here. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. See that ridge? That's the one that needs to be on the top part. So there's an indent and then there's like a... So the, this indent is going to go on that other... Right, so hold on. So the key here is to be sure that this part is on the upper. So on this next last one, this is on the upper and the indent's on the bottom. Or reflector. So finish reflector. 
all the bolts in it around the edges. Everything's nice and tight. Now I'm going to hold it. One. Hold it still, please. Two. Three. So they come through that. the middle three. One. We'll put a wig nut on. I guess the washer would keep the water out anyways. Yeah. Okay. Is that all done? Yep. Okay, we're almost ready here now. Almost done. I'm going to raise this up and pull it nice. Bring it back up. You can wheel it and with those nice. bottom wheels. Ready? Get out of here. I'm going to lift this up and you can pop that in there. Go ahead. So there's an open side on the other side. I got the connection right there, which is fine. Three generations here. Put the spin it so that the hand enter spot to turn. Good. Propane on and off is here. What do you mean propane on and off? So you have to turn propane. The knob is right here? Right. You reach in. I'm gonna reach in there. Oh yeah, I can feel that, yeah. Let's just listen for a second, make sure there's no leakage. You are still here at initial. You are supposed to spray the liquid down, but I think we're okay. I opened it up. Okay. Quickly push it in. Push it in. Turn. Okay. There you go. That, that was it. You already, man. One click. Oh, cool. look. Review the instructions. Turn the valve on the gas cylinder. Press and turn the control knob to high, maximum position, counterclockwise. Holding down the control knob, press the igniter button several times until the main flame is ignited. Release the control knob 10 seconds after the ignition. Turn the knob to low and leave it there for five minutes. Okay, yeah, yeah, try it one more time. Keep it in a little longer. Keep it in. Eight, nine, ten. And then set it to low. Yeah, she's cooking okay. now. Okay, yeah, yep. just like we it's feel the heat. Yeah, that was it. You got the, the key yep. is you have to hold it down for at least ten seconds. And we'll turn it to no, low. It's low. Turn and it to that's low. fine. And, and it stays on great heat. Look at oh boy, I feel yeah, nice. it's real nice. Five minutes. Awesome. Five minutes. Awesome. Really, really working well. We can feel the heat. It's like sixty degrees. A little breeze. Uh squinty estimal fair rod. Freedom, peace, keep rising the sky. This is good, man. Teamwork here. And my grandson, my son, and myself here. And this works really well. Mm -hmm.